Hey everybody, welcome back. So we all know how tough it can be to get a workout in during a very busy day. So here are some bite-sized exercises that we can squeeze into our busy schedules is fitness expert Nadia Kordic. Welcome, Nadia. Hi, hey, so hey, nice hey. to see you guys. Uh, Nadia, listen, we are really, really excited to try a lot of these workouts, but I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, when you have the name micro workout, which is yeah. different than micro cheating, just for the record, it sounds <laughs> cute, it sounds small, it sounds manageable. So the question is, how effective are they? They're okay, so they're very cute, very small, and they're very manageable, and they're very effective. So uh, micro workouts allow you to get um, your workout anytime, any place, in a short amount of time. So they also help to increase your fitness level and allow you to achieve more or show our results in a shorter period of time. So the movements we're going to be doing today are focusing on complex or what we call multi-joint movements. So um, which means that they're being, they're going to be using one uh, more than one muscle group at a time. So they're super, super effective. Okay, well, I guess it's time to get started. <laughs> <laughs> Our first exercise is an elevated push-up into a yeah. side hold. <laughs> Take yeah. us through, Naya. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> okay, so we're moving back to our mat. So we're going to be using a yoga block for this, but if you don't have a yoga block, you can use um, a stack of books or a thick book if you have one. So okay. in my case, your right hand goes on the book. So one hand is ele elevated, doesn't matter which one. Okay. Other hand goes on your mat, you step back, widen your stance, you create that balance, and then you come down in a push-up. Okay. And you come back up and you raise the hand that's not on the block and you hold for a beat. Now, if this is too strenuous for you, you can always drop down to your knees and do the exact same thing, just like that on your knees. Ooh, okay, so you come down okay. and then come on up, Suspend yourself for a little bit and you squeeze. So you're working your back here, you're working your core, you're working your glutes, you're working your quads. Because, like I said, these are multi-joint movements. Why do we have movements. to use? Like, why can't we just do this without the elevated block? Like, what does the block well, add to this situation? First of all, it's more fun. <laughs> Second of all, it adds an element of difficulty to it, right? Because one hand is elevated. Why am I still doing that? When you come up, <laughs> you come because up, you're come a good girl, more. Lainey. <laughs> yes, you are. Let's do one more and then come on up. And there and, you go. And what's the twist? Why the twist? Well, the twist is to work the side abdominal wall because, like I was saying, these um, these particular exercises that you want to do for micro workouts, you want to get more bang for your buck Got and it. work as many muscle groups as you can all in one shot. Okay, up next we have tabletop knee taps. So what yeah. is that and what is it working? Okay, so we're gonna get rid of our blocks. We don't need that anymore. You're gonna come on to all fours. Okay. And you wanna tuck your back toes under. You wanna make sure they're not like this. They're tucked under, right? You wanna create that sort of stability base. You're gonna lift your knees off the ground about an inch. Okay. And make sure your base is nice and wide to create balance. And you're gonna take the opposite hand to the opposite knee and then put it down opposite hand to opposite knee and then put it down and keep going yeah, and you're gonna feel yeah. yeah you're gonna feel probably your quads working your core you'll also feel your shoulders your glutes after you do probably about 35 to 50 of these i'm sorry what did you just say <laughs> yeah. 30, by 15 i'm already okay but you only have to do it once right because okay. they're micro so here's the thing i know just because I love working out, that the tendency yes. is going to be to want to swing. Absolutely, So yes. how do we stop that? <laughs> so you want to make sure that you stare straight ahead, right? Keep a neutral spine. And kind of when you look, you look where your body's going to go, right? If you okay. want your body to go side to side, you're looking side to side. Okay. If you maintain that sort of straight look ahead, you'll be able to not sway your okay. legs as much, Ooh. right? That's good stuff. All right. Yeah, we just did a right? tabletop with toe taps. Now we're yes. gonna work the inner thigh. So this is inner thigh toe taps. Yeah, um, it is. Fine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do it reluctantly. Okay, so you're gonna take one leg behind you, extend, in my case, it's the right leg out, and you're gonna raise, you're gonna turn your um, foot outwards. Okay. You're gonna raise your hip up off the ground, and you're gonna raise your leg up. This hand, right, is gonna to touch that ankle every single time. You're tapping that ankle. And so with this, this is good. Like the other exercises, right? Like the other exercises, we're working a lot of different muscle groups in one shot, right? This is I feel my inner thigh is screaming <laughs> right? right now. But this quad <laughs> is also screaming. 
Right? Exactly. So that leg that's holding you in place is also acting as a stabilizer. So you're also going to feel it there. And obviously when you're done, 35 to 50 of these, you switch and you do the other side 35. for all of them. Can movement. we start at baby steps? Let's see. You can start at baby steps. You absolutely can. So maybe you want to start at 15 to 20 Great. and then work your way number. up. 15 is a yeah. good number. <laughs> okay, so let's stick with the legs because I'm digging all of this. You've got sure. hamstring walkout snacks. Yeah, yeah, so one of my favorites. Okay, so for this one, you need to lie flat on your back, knees facing up towards the ceiling, okay. and you're gonna dig your heels into the ground. So you plant your hands down, you come up into what's traditionally known as like a bridge position. Okay. So here, keeping your, your body, your torso nice and stable, you're gonna walk your legs out as far as they go without your glutes, so your butt touching the ground. You hold Ooh. for a beat, then you inch your legs back in, heels digging down, your toes never touch the ground, and you squeeze to get that glute activation. Can you, you ever drop your butt? Like, can you take you, a break and drop your I butt? I think that's not the point. You the point can, is to but avoid I don't want that. you to. Yeah. <laughs> it's to avoid it. If you have to, obviously, but your goal is to try and not let your butt touch the ground, even when you're in this extended position. My right? abs you start are crushing this. right now, though. Are my abs right? supposed to be this, like, wow, engaged? Absolutely. You'll feel this in many different areas. Predominantly, it's, it's a, it's a, a workout for your, for your man. This is my but workout for the day. Oh, my abs. other <laughs> muscles are getting a great workout, Nadia. Is that okay? That's called an effective it's a, workout. Is it okay it if I work all effect. my muscles? It's the point oh. of the exercise. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next up. the whole point. Next up is a push-up with two cross foot taps. Yeah, uh, this excuse is my, me. This yeah, sounds I know. scary. This is my absolute favorite one. So I'm gonna show you the advanced version and then I'll show you the modified version. So for the advanced version, you're coming into a plank position. Okay. You lower down to the ground so that you're not laying down. You're about an inch off the ground. You cross <laughs> one foot tap. That's easy. You cross the other foot tap. Then you come back to that position and then you push up to the top. I'm still back at the part where you're one right. inch off the ground. How good do you think our push ups are? Oh, well, you wow. can try. You can always drop your knees and do the same thing lower, tap, and then tap in that lowered position. Okay, on the lower, knees, and then try come back tap, up. Modified. And tap. Yeah, okay, fine. That's Excellent. fine. There you go. Okay, lower yeah. works for me. Tap. Lower, tap, 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 and then lower. Up. Tap, yep. lower, tap, tap and tap. Perfect. Yeah, That's about all that I, I can handle today. <laughs> Daniel, which speaks to the effectiveness of the micro workout that sounds so cute, but it is an assassin of a workout. Thank you so, so much for these. Anyway, we really appreciate it. Of course. It. Micro yeah, workouts no better than micro cheating? There for the know. win. For, for the, the win. full breakdown of these exercises, check out our social media channels and don't go anywhere. We will be right back.